Oh, I'm always knackered walking down here. But hello, welcome back. Back again with buttons. Got the old treasure hat on. Only means one thing. Some gold prospecting. But yeah, nice looking spot here. So I haven't looked at the geology, so could be out. I'm not expecting gold. I'm using these trips out. I'll flip the camera on and show you anyway. But just to practice gold panning techniques, you know, like what to look out for, locations, you know, parts of the river, etc. So that's all I'm doing really. All I've got with me, my pans and my sluice, little shovel, trowel. So it's just gonna be quick little test pans. But yeah, it does look really good. And uh, yeah, do a little bit of scraping about and yeah, I might set sleeves up, get a couple of test pans out. But yeah, thank you subscribers for you, you guys. Really do appreciate all of you. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because it's free and it means a lot to me. But yeah, stop this gassing. A couple of test pans. But yeah, this is the new river I'm prospecting. It just Miranda's down here, but I don't know, this sort of area caught my eye, so the water is actually a lot lower. Farmers are running some water down, but yeah, we've got a lot of this, a lot of exposed bedrock. This is just sort of like, yeah, it gets quite high as you can see, but it's a lot of this, I think it's like slate, slaty bedrock, a lot of packed packed heavy in there but there like with these outcrops it looks good and I don't know if it was me but there's a quite a bit of mineralization is it this oxidized irony sort of color so if it looks promising or not I don't know but and yeah there's a lot of waterfall so there's one the further downstream you get, less and less water, so I've, I came upstream. But yeah, this looks good. So I'm gonna, would you say, subscribers, to go above the waterfall and go upstream? Because I assume the bottom of that waterfall is deep. So if any gold did get down the waterfall, it would stay in there, would it? Maybe some could get out. The, small flower gold maybe but yeah I'm gonna work down here I think probably just around here where I was before Let's do a little few test pans so yeah what I'm thinking clear out these best I can I haven't got my big button 3000 pump literally all I've come with so scrape out here here bit of here and that it does look good. I expect it goes probably quite da deep down. So, yeah, this is my first target. So, yeah, this crevice here, I'm just going to work this for a little bit. Uh, put these here. What I'm going to do is quite a lot of these bigger rocks. Yeah, the big rocks, I'm just going to do that. Try and get out these. Bigger looking rocks. A lot of it I'll just get with my hands. And then what I can't get. Cleaning them off as well before I launch them. And all the shit off the sides of the and everything, I'm going to keep hold of that. So, I don't think it goes that far down, I don't think. I think I'm, no, it does go a little bit. But it's densely packed. Oh, yeah, give me that. And uh, pretty much, it's about maybe two inches of stuff. What I might do is, before I get rid of all this, do as much as I can with the trowel. 
And then, uh, yeah, get a little snuffer on. You know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try and throw the whole lot in, you know. Have an absolutely massive heavy bucket for the first one. Oh, I'm missing half of it. Oh, hell. It's hard to find some water, we should be from the snow, right? to it and hopefully when the water settles down all the dirt washes out and it clears out you can have a look and hopefully I'm going to try and practice to you know, keeping things clean if that makes any sense so like if I say I'm going to work a crevice I want to Target is to get, you know, clean it out. Perfect. That's my target anyway. But yeah, man, I've got a pan here. First pan, get some water in this. There's one thing I'm going to purchase as well. It's like a chest camera so you can see but yeah I'll uh... see if I can show you with this dodgy angle but yeah there it is pan full so to be fair probably best turn this camera around and have a look find a perch might have to do Plenty in this pan. Probably overfilled it to be fair. Like everything, it's all practice. Yeah, let me know if that first location we're working on now is a good, good prospecting location. If it was on a gold bearing river, would I have found gold? But yeah, like always, if you see somewhere on these videos, just pause it. Give me a little, tell me what time of the video it is. And if that part of the river is where you would prospect. Yeah, I want to make a little community so we can, like, you know, help me out and help each other out, give advice. I've got a worm in this. But we're slowly, slowly getting down. Problem is, then, I think I kind of threw half of it out, being a bit too keen, but. We can get some more. Come on, come on, baby. Let's get right down. Be brave. Get the stones out. I would lose my absolute mind if I had gold.
nothing except for the two tiniest minute blue like, like aluminium or to be it looks like tin foil, like the tiniest step it could be lead. But it's really quite light. But I'll hopefully I'll be able to show you on the camera. So yeah, that was the first pan. Hopefully you can work. See that little camera's pants. Looks like in there. Still be worried, mate. Help. Don't do that because I'll lose you. And I think I've gone and lost it. No, it's there. Stay fucking still. You can't really see, but see it moving with the water. It is. It's quite heavy now, but it was moving. Fucking gun. Oh well, I hope you made out what that was. I'm thinking either lead or like a scrap bit of tin foil. But still, it's a bit of it's a bit of something which I've gone and lost. What a schoolboy error. But yeah, going back to the crevice. Oh hell, I mean, oh fuck, now I'm wet. Uh, can't really see it now because I just made it really murky again. But I've, I did like. Fairly decent job. Hmm. From from what I got there, I'm not going to bother doing here. I am looking behind this, but there's a bit of quartz just there. I think. Uh, yeah, nice bit of quartz. That's. Oh, I can move this. Let's just see what's under. So. Oh, and it's packed. Let's see. Let's slay it, that, isn't it? I don't know. Just, just making a mess. Put that back. Carry on looking. I'm going to have a look down here, I think. So I've just walked a bit further down. That's where I was. This is a bit of an inside bend and there's a big heavy rock right there. So that's not purposely been placed there, which it, there is a possibility. Might dig here, maybe. Hmm, big boulder there, I might, no, I haven't got the equipment. Yeah, I'm gonna test find a couple here. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave you perched on a thistle directly below us. That stone was there. I think it's purposely been put there. Stop this pipe thrown around or whatnot, but I'm gonna still take a couple of shovelfuls, right? Like. We'll give it a quick see what potential stuff was hiding there. Again, you just can see the top of my head in the old treasure cap. But yeah, if you go down in the description of the video, I've got a couple of links to some other gold prospecting playlists, my metal detecting playlist, to so make sure you check them out. I want to get back into a bit of metal detecting. I just need to source a good, reliable metal detector. And also, if you do want to help the channel out or help me out invest into the channel i've got a paypal link every little helps it's weird when you're out here i'm gonna have to re-watch this video because it probably feels like there's someone up here because i keep getting like a shadow it could be mine in the reflection of the water but i keep thinking there's someone watching me Leaves up, but I think we're getting close. Oh, maybe not quite far off. 
quite far off the bottom of the bedrock, so I need like a probe, big probe. So yeah, all I'm going to do for this one, I think, is just see what we get out of there. Not waste my time just digging into gravels when I'm quite far off bedrock. But if I'm wrong, let me know because it would help loads. I'm also actually planning a trip to uh, bop, 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 up over the border. Doesn't take me long. Only been in Cumbria. But yeah, going over to the border into Scotland soon. There's Junior Buttons, my son. He's back into gold panning and he wants to learn. So I'm like, shit, bro, come learn with your old man. So I'm taking him up to a good old camping trip. Hopefully get some prospecting done. And you've got the the British Gold Panning Association Championship on the same weekend, so should Mr. Buttons make an appearance there? I do not know. This. Pan this out and see what we get. So yeah, what I've done is I was working around that corner and I just come down here just to have a brew and a cigarette and I was looking at this bedrock outcrop you've got it's positive that I'm probably using the wrong term but like mineralization like it's oxidized with the air the atmosphere to me that's a potentially good looking indicator a little bit on there as well I'm like staining but yeah so I've come down here inside bend I'll start working out there and then we've got like another bend here and I'm um, stood on this like gravel bank big boulder there so in front of this boulder here good potential spot but yeah I was looking at all this exposed bedrock all these crevices can't really see but she's deep and I was thinking you've got these big rocks how did the big rocks get there? And they're heavy, so if something heavy there, there's gonna be other heavy stuff. But yeah, that's what I mean about the rest of the stream, it does dry off to nothing. But yeah, honestly, leave me a comment, I'd really appreciate it if this is a good looking site. But yeah, I'm gonna call that quits for a day. Like I said, I was only a quick prospecting, just a couple of test pans, just to see what the location's like. One indications, and I've got some with the mineralization, the oxidization, whatever you want to call it, and there's a lot of exposed bedrock, little bits of quartz as well. So, but it's slaty, so that's what's kind of like telling me it's not the right sort of geology I'm looking for. But yeah, let me know what you think. And yeah, again, thank you, subscribers. I honestly do appreciate all the support and again subscribe if you haven't already and I'm planning to go up to Scotland soon so if there's any of you prospectors who actually watch this channel and will be in Scotland the end of May even for the championship let me know because planning on taking me and the boy out for some prospect admission so yeah I'll uh, see you on my next video and if you haven't already check out some of these other videos